Dropshipping is an exciting business model, something that entrepreneurs have been dreaming about for years. But do you know the fundamentals behind dropshipping? If not, you're in the right place. So, what is dropshipping and how does it work? Here's a visual representation to help you understand it a bit better. The customer purchases an item from your store at retail price. The order is forwarded to your supplier and you pay wholesale. The supplier ships directly to your customer under your name. And there you have it. It's seriously as simple as that. And it's a great business model for its many benefits. For one, it's easy to get started. For someone who's never started an online store before, getting started with dropshipping is pretty easy. You just need to find a supplier, create a website, and start selling. It's got a low startup cost. The biggest startup cost to starting a retail operation is buying the inventory. But with dropshipping, you don't need to buy an inventory. Your only expenses are for creating a website and applying for a tax ID. Low overhead. Since you don't own any inventory, you don't need to own a warehouse space. And being an online store, you also don't need a physical space. Your only fixed costs are what it takes to run your website, which can be as little as $30 a month. There's a huge product selection. You'd be hard pressed to find a product that can't be drop shipped. There are suppliers for almost anything. Because you don't have to worry about your inventory selling, dropshipping is an extremely low-risk business. If you don't sell, you don't lose anything. Location independence. A lack of inventory means you can run your business anywhere with a laptop and internet connection. I had my own store when I was traveling the country in an RV. I kind of miss that RV. Easy to scale. For traditional retailers, Three times the sales means three times the work of the ordering and the packing and the shipping. With drop shipping, it just means that you place three times the amount of orders and your supplier does the rest. And that leaves you time to grow your business. Now, of course, like anything, drop shipping isn't perfect. Here are some of its disadvantages. Lower margins compared to wholesale pricing. While it isn't true across the board, many suppliers charge more for drop shipping, which means that you get less profit. High competition. Because it's such a great business model, a lot of people are doing it. However, you can avoid some of the competition by choosing a niche or a very specific segment to sell to, such as jewelry for pug owners. Like little earrings with little gemstones in the shape of dog paws. You know, that's, that's a product, that's a thing, people would buy that. It can be tough to manage inventory. With massive product selection, and oftentimes no direct knowledge of your supplier's inventory, it can be easy to lose track and have to put some orders on back order or even cancel them. This problem gets worse as you grow your business and sell on multiple channels. That being said, there are software solutions to help you keep track of your inventory. So when you have enough extra income to purchase them, then that'll be a great help for you. Shipping complexities. If you're selling products from multiple suppliers, it can create problems when it comes to shipping prices and such. For example, if your customer buys three items from three separate suppliers, they're going to have to pay individual shipping for each one. Passing these costs on to your customer can lower conversion rates, so you may have to eat the cost, lowering margins further. Supplier errors. If your supplier makes a mistake, it's on your head. The customers don't care if it was your supplier's mistake, they bought the product from you and they want answers from you. You are solely responsible. This is why it's important to choose your suppliers carefully. Low level of brand control. This is maybe one of the biggest disadvantages to drop shipping. Because your supplier is shipping the packages, you won't be able to personalize the packages or add handwritten notes or freebies or anything like that. Now let's talk about the difference between a manufacturer and a dropship wholesaler. Often these terms are used interchangeably, but they don't mean the same thing. A manufacturer is the actual creator of a product. Sometimes they have a drop shipping program, which is ideal for you as the buyer. Because there is no middleman, they can give you the best deals on the product so you can make the most money. A dropship wholesaler is a third party individual who buys products at the lowest prices from the manufacturer, then drop ships them for a buyer like you. A third kind of supplier is a dropship aggregator. A dropship aggregator is a wholesaler who buys from a wide variety of manufacturers to give you the most options possible the widest range of products in one place. This cuts out the risk of shipping complications I mentioned earlier, but it also lowers your potential profits as they take a much higher cut. Now let's talk about how much money you can make with drop shipping and if it's even profitable. Drop shipping margins typically average between 20 and 40%. However, on some niches like clothing, jewelry, and electronics, the margins can be up to 100%. 
However, as I said earlier, that can depend greatly on which suppliers you work with. Buying direct from manufacturers can give you much better margins. So how much money can you make? Well, let's take a look at a few success stories. Erwin Dominguez made $1 million in eight months using dropshipping. Hello Matcha generated over $900 in three days after selling matcha powder. Tucker Schreiber built an online t-shirt business and made $1.2,000 in three weeks. So who is dropshipping for? First time sellers. You've never run an online store before, but you want to try it out. It's a low risk, low investment way to start selling products online. People wanting to test the market for a new product. You already have a store, but you want to test the market with a new product to see how well it will sell before stocking inventory. People who want to add more products, but don't want to invest a lot of capital. You can simply add a few dropship suppliers to your lineup to increase your product offerings. People who want to sell a ton of different items without having to carry them all. Essentially, you be the Walmart of the internet. This isn't a method I would recommend starting with, but it is possible if you're interested. Now, of course, this business model is not right for everyone. So who is dropshipping not right for? People wanting to grow their brand to the next level. Since dropshipping margins are typically low and you have limited control over your brand experience, you might want to go to manufacturers to grow your brand. Sellers who want the absolute best margins. The only way to get the best profit margins is to go straight to the source. Dropshipping won't help you there. People who don't want to compete with their supplier. While not always the case, some dropship suppliers, and even manufacturers, sell directly to the consumer to get extra profit. You need to be creative to sell against someone who has lower prices than you. Now, is dropshipping a dead business model? You may have heard that about dropshipping, but I'm here to tell you that it's not the case. You can still create a very healthy dropshipping business. That being said, the market is very saturated, and so it's more important than ever to find an awesome niche. With the right niche, you can avoid some competition. In addition to being highly focused on your product offerings, you should also work with the manufacturers as much as possible, as opposed to working with dropship aggregators. Also, customers are now demanding a greater brand experience, and that can be difficult to provide. If your supplier isn't willing to go that extra mile for you by using your custom packaging or putting freebies in the package, you may have a harder time competing. Do Amazon, eBay, and AliExpress allow dropshipping? Yes. You can dropship while selling on any of these platforms. I'm going to put links regarding Amazon's and eBay's dropshipping policies in the description below. We've also got a whole nother video about AliExpress with more information about it. I'll also put that link in the description below. So how can you be successful dropshipping? The most important part about succeeding with dropshipping is finding a great supplier. The second most important part is marketing your business. Simply putting up your products on Amazon and eBay and stuff is not going to drive your sales. SaleWho has tons of marketing tools to help you succeed, such as coupons and email marketing system, analytics software, and more. I also recommend you bookmark this marketing calendar to keep as a reminder of upcoming holidays you should run sales for. Finally, don't forget to leverage social media marketing tactics, especially Instagram, since 93% of buying decisions are made on visual appearance. Now you should have a firm understanding about what dropshipping is and how you can use it to make money for your business. The next step in creating a successful dropshipping business is finding something to sell. Head to the next video to learn about the do's and don'ts of finding, vetting, and selecting a great product. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And remember to hit the little bell icon to be notified of our new uploads. And check out the description for our helpful free ebook. I'll see you guys in the next video.